Hey, this is Peter Bergdahl at peterbergdahl.com and in the next two and a half minutes or so I will show you a super simple and extremely effective method to improve the contrast in your images. And this tutorial will work for both Photoshop CS and Photoshop Elements, so keep watching. So great, let's get started then. I will use an image I took in Hoi An in central Vietnam as an example in this tutorial. Uh, the image contained a lot of contrast between the bright sky and the shadow areas. But on a lo local level, however, there's still quite a lack of contrast in this image. But the problem is that if I'm increasing the contrast globally using the normal uh, contrast enhancement tools in Photoshop, I will might fix the local contrast, but instead I will increase a problem on the global contrast. And that results in, in very extreme highlights and dark, dark black shadows in the image. But that's luckily a very, very simple way to increase the local contrast using Photoshop. In fact, it's amazingly simple. So all you have to do is to open Filter, Sharpen and Unsharp Mask. And if you're using Photoshop Elements, instead of going to Filter, Sharpen, Unsharp mask, you select Enhance Unsharp mask. So all you have to do now is to set amount to 20, radius to 50, threshold to 0. And you might want to experiment a little bit with these numbers. For example, you can try to set the amount between 5 to 20 percent and radius between 30 to 100 pixels or so. Threshold you don't need to touch at all. So now I'm done, I just press OK here. So this is after the local enhancement. And this is before. So you can see that on a global level there is not, not, no great uh, increase in contrast before and after. But if I instead zoom in like this, here you can see after and before. Here you can see quite a big difference up in the leaves and the trees. This is before and after. Before, after. So this is a really, really easy way to increase the local contrast without affecting the global contrast. Uh, just a final word, local contrast enhancement like this can affect the color, so keep an eye on this. For example, the color saturation may be affected and it can also give a color cast. Before I end this video, I would like to tell you that it's perfectly okay to embed this video on your website. You don't need to ask for any permission or anything like that. So all you have to do is to select embed code here and then right click and select copy or press Ctrl C and then go over to your website and paste it there and it sh should show up automatically. Uh, I also encourage you to comment on this video. Let me know what you, you think about it. Uh, good or bad doesn't matter, just let me know. And then furthermore, please rate this video also. And of course this video is awesome, right? Well, just joking again. It doesn't really matter. Just let me know what you think. Um, so thank you so much.